After taking almost two months off from having the baby, I'm easing myself slowly back into the kitchen to do what I love most, cooking for my family. Of course, I'm starting off with a cup of coffee, which I honestly haven't been doing much these days. I tend to stick to hot cocos on these cold winter months. What are your guys' go-to during these winter months? Are you strictly coffee people or do you enjoy your hot cocos? Let me know in the comments below. I've been really blessed that my parents have been coming over every Shabbat, bringing all the food with them, but I've missed rolling up my sleeves and cooking for Shabbat. So join me today as I navigate cooking for Shabbat on my own for the first time since giving birth to my newborn. So let's roll up our sleeves and let's get prepping. While I was deciding on the type of menu that I wanted to go for, I was drawing some inspiration from our cookbooks that I have in the house. The spicy lamb meat ball soup was calling my name and if you would like the recipe, I'll leave it here for you to screenshot it. The latest Fleischix magazine had all sorts of different types of cookies and I wanted to try one of them out. They turned out really delicious as well. If you'd like, you can screenshot the recipe right here as well. I'm leaving it here on the screen for you for a bit. When baking, I try to stay away from margarine, so I'm so happy that I finally found these Betterine sticks again. They're like the healthier alternative and I'll be baking with them later on. The first thing that I wanted to do was get something into my oven to cook while I'm prepping other things. I'm starting off by slicing an eggplant into circles to roast them for a yummy delicious salad. I place some avocado oil on a baking pan lined with parchment paper and I coat both sides with oil. Before placing them into the oven, I do season it with salt and pepper as you'll see soon. I place them into the oven, set on broil for about seven minutes on each side, flipping halfway through. While that's going on, I'm going to be chopping up the vegetables that will be going into the soup. I have some onions, carrots, and celery here. I'm going to be waiting on a vegetable. Um, I have needed yellow zucchini as well, and my husband's going shopping at the moment, so he'll be dropping off that a little bit later on. It looks like the eggplants are done, so I'm going to be flipping them over at this point. I have a little bassinet where the baby is sleeping or right next door to where I am and I do hear him stirring so I know that I have to quickly make and prep the bottles. I do like to prep a few feedings at a time and keep them in the fridge so I could easily just grab it and heat it up for him. So I'm going to be quickly doing that while I still have the chance while he's sleeping. Now that all the bottles are all set up, I'm back to cooking. I always say that the newborn phase is like a dance. There's many stop and goes and we're just optimizing each nap as best as we can, trying to accomplish as much as we can. People inevitably ask me from time to time, how do I do it juggling work and family life and YouTube? And I feel like I do it just like anybody else does it. Any other mom who has kids, one who has a job, we just do our best in the time that we have. My family is my utmost priority and I do my best to be present and stay in the moment when dealing with all of the kiddos. I'm lucky that I love my job so it doesn't feel like a chore going there and when I inevitably have to go back like so many moms out there who go back into the workforce after having their baby I'm going to have to obviously make adjustments in my schedule and how I manage things. And YouTube, as for YouTube, it's a fun recreational outlet for me and I post content in this season of life when I can. And as my routine stabilizes, I hope to post regularly as I once did. Thank you all for being so patient with me at this time. But as of now, I'm just soaking in all of the cuddles and all of the yummy kisses from this little baby. 
a great thing for me is to actually place the baby into this rocker um, that I can just have him next to me while I'm in the kitchen or anywhere else in the house between his naps. So I'll be placing him right close to me so that I can keep an eye on him while I'm continuing to cook. Next up, I'm making osvo, which is an overnight stew. I've made this tons of times on my channel. We eat this for lunch on Saturday. I place in a quarter cup of oil to a pot with any kind of meat that I have on hand. I wash and drain also two cups of rice, short grain rice, and I place it into the pot. The baby at this point decided that he wanted to finish his bottle. So of course I'm going to be stopping and taking care of him. So as you can see, there are a lot of cute interruptions while doing uh, pretty much anything in this season of life. And I try to laugh at all of them because I know that this season of life passes by so quickly and I will miss it one day. Everything else can wait. The messy kitchen, the laundry that isn't folded or put away, it will all eventually get done. Just be kind to yourself in this space and time and savor these sweet moments. Now that the baby has eaten, it's time for his nap. So I'll be changing him, swaddling him, and putting him back into the bassinet. Now that he's sleeping, I'm going to quickly put away all the groceries that my husband just dropped off. I love doing these speed up things. I wish life can actually go by that quickly sometimes when we're in a time crunch. Uh, but once that's all done and everything is put away, I'm going to continue cooking. I got the yellow zucchinis or yellow, I think these are called zucchinis or squashes. I don't know. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below. I chopped it up and I'm going to be making the soup. I add in a little bit of oil into the soup pot and all of the veggies and I'll be sauteing them for a bit. All the veggies are sauteing. I'm going to be seasoning it with oregano, salt, pepper, some cumin, red chili flakes, and giving everything a good mix. While the veggies are sauteing, I'm going to be making the meatballs. To the ground meat, I'm going to be adding in the breadcrumbs and seasoning. Again, please refer to the recipe that I showed in the beginning of this video if you want to recreate this for yourselves. Um, and after I add in all the seasonings, which I have paprika here, I think I have garlic powder over there also. After I'm adding in all of the seasoning, I am going to be adding something that wasn't in the recipe, which is a quarter cup of water. I just believe that it really adds um, some fluffiness to the meatballs. So I'm gonna mix everything and quickly make the actual meatballs. Into the soup pot, I add in the lentils and the chicken stock and I mix well. If you don't have chicken stock, you can use consomme with some hot boiling water and that works well as well. While that's going to be boiling, I'm going to get started on my salmon. I'm going to be making my mustard vinaigrette salmon and I do have a whole video dedicated to all the different types of Shabbat fish that I make. So I'll link it down below for you guys if you want the exact recipe but I seasoned the fish with some salt and pepper I put in some crushed garlic and dill over the top and I'm going to be squeezing in an entire lemon and just arranging the slices very nicely on the fish and I'm going to be baking it in the oven while the fish is baking I place in all of the contents of the soup into a food processor so I could puree it and into the empty soup pot now I'm adding in more broth and lentils and after that I'm going to be adding in all the pureed vegetables Once everything gets heated through, I'm going to be dropping in all of the meatballs.
The fish is now done and looking great and the soup is simmering away and it's looking so good as well. Now back to finishing up my osuo. So as you can see, I'm yo-yoing back and forth between meals and doing things as I can in the kitchen. Um, just that's the life of you know a busy mom who's juggling a lot of stuff um into the food processor i'm adding in at this point some tomatoes carrots onions and apple and i'm going to be food processing that very quickly and adding it into the pot I'm also going to be adding in a cup of tomato sauce and I season it with some salt only and I season that to taste, usually about two teaspoons will do. I mix everything well with four cups of water. I cover it with a lid and place it in the fridge. I don't cook it on Thursday when I'm normally doing my prep. I cook it on Friday a few hours before Shabbat starts. Now to finish up the eggplant salad that I made earlier, I'm going to be taking about half a cup of duck sauce, one minced garlic clove, and some chopped dill. I add in a tablespoon or so of vinegar and some salt and pepper, and I mix everything thoroughly. Next up, I'll be making Moroccan salmon. I do have this recipe also in my fish uh, video, but I'll link all of that down below for you. I basically place in some sliced jalapeno peppers into a skillet with four slices of garlic cloves and about a tablespoon of tomato paste. I saute it all, I add in paprika and turmeric, and then I add in the fish. I'm going to be you know, ladling on the sauce over the fish and allow that to cook thoroughly through. I also add in a bunch of lemon and I like to add the slices over the top. I think it's nice and pretty. Mix in some water and garbanzo beans and let that cook until it's fully cooked through about 10 to 15 minutes. The last thing that I did were these delicious chewy chocolate chip cookies from Flashix Magazine. They came out really, really good. Whenever you're cooking in the kitchen, preparing for Shabbat, and you're dealing with a newborn, you never know how long it's going to take you. But I did it, guys. I finished everything that I wanted to do. I got it done. It's nice to get back into the kitchen, doing what I love most, cooking and taking care of my family. The time off was definitely good, and I loved it. But it's so nice to get back to your normal routine, too. It just makes you feel like your old self again. Thank you guys so much all for watching and I hope if you enjoyed this video, you'll give it a big thumbs up. Um, Shabbat Shalom and happy prepping from my family to yours. <music>